Good morning all, how are you doing? Um, I just wanna start out uh, this morning by just reading some scripture to you and um, kind of as a reminder, and I'll make a few comments, but basically I just want you to, to listen to this. Um, those of you that are, are close to me know that Romans 8 is my life verse, but there's a second favorite passage that's pretty close to that, and that's uh, John 1, the prologue, uh, going into the Gospel of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning, and all things were created through Him. And apart from Him, not one thing was created that had been created. Life was in Him, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, yet the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man named John who was sent from God. He came as a witness to testify about the light so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but he came to testify about the light, the true light, who gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was created through him, yet the world did not recognize him. He came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, he gave them the right to be children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. The word became flesh, and he took up residence among us, and we observed his glory, the glory as the one and only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. John testified concerning him, and exclaimed, This was the one whom I said, the one coming after me, has surpassed me, because he existed before me. Indeed, we all have received grace after grace from his fullness. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. The only, the one and only Son, the one who is at the Father's side, he has revealed him. This morning I just want you to uh, maybe ponder on a few things um, in this, is that obviously the, the word is Jesus. It's speaking of our Messiah Yeshua. Um, it is. Um, it has been from the beginning God's plan, and and as you read through this, is that in the beginning um, uh, darkness did not overtake light, and today darkness will never overtake light. Um, we are been sent to testify about the light, um, so that all might believe so that so as we respond and we do the things that all might believe um, because we know that the true light is coming to the world when John was talking about Jesus's first coming I want to talk to you about a second coming we don't know when um, people say this is the time I don't know but I just know that one day my Lord and Savior will rule again and um, and we believe that and we we understand that and it may not be for a long time um, we may not see it in our generation, but we know that he is. And then it says um, that when he came into this world, the world didn't recognize him. Uh, when God moves in our place today, sometimes people don't recognize it as God. Sometimes we don't recognize it as God. Sometimes we um, give too much power to the enemy. We Sometimes we, but in other times we blame God and say God's creating all these things, that he's punishing us, which I don't believe. I believe that he is just, um, he's giving us other opportunities, like I've said before. But one of the things that is this is that when we do believe in him, we become children of God. We have become the right the right has been given to us to become God's children. And I just want us to soak in on that, that that is who we are, God's children, and we are dearly loved. And um, and then it goes on to talk about that this was God's plan, that um, man can't make this happen. Um, the will of man can't make this happen. We can't do anything in the flesh, but God was wanting us to be his children. And then his plan was that our Messiah Yeshua became flesh and he came and he dwelt among us and we observed his glory. I want you to know today that you can observe his glory. Just look around, see what God is doing, see how God is moving in the midst of all this. God is still good and he is still doing. I know that some of us may be facing some hardship, but we must believe that God is still good. Um, we are his children and he is going to... Um, just think about how you love your children. Think about how 
you know people love their children. This is God, and He loves us even more than we can imagine. And it just goes on, and it talks about how we have received grace after grace from His fullness. Today, I want you to focus in on God's fullness, on Jesus' fullness, His completeness, the fact that we are His children, that um, He sees us, and He knows our needs, and He is preparing uh, things for us. We must believe. Uh, we must have hope. We must be the light in a darkness. Remember, darkness can never overtake light. Once light is in the place, darkness flees. I don't know about you, but that makes me excited because when we go out, when we do the things we're doing, when we're hanging with our family, we are the light. And nothing can put us out. And so I am so thankful to be his child. I'm so thankful that he came and he resided with us, that he gave his life for us, that he has revealed his father to us, that all things are created through him, that we are his testimony of that light, that we are his children, that we can have a point to recognize who he is. And I'm just so excited. Father God, be with us today, this glorious sunny day. I pray that you would just anoint us again. Um, that you would cause us to see the things in our life with different perspective, that we would let you and your word shape our vision of what is coming on, what is going on, and, and what will be. And we just thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. I can't wait to see you tomorrow at church. Special speaker, Pastor Smithy will be preaching for us, um, but I'll see you to welcome you, and I am so excited uh, just to be able to worship once again. I love you guys, and we'll talk to you later. See you tomorrow.